Hello everybody, hello grade four. Today I will complete the second part of the uh, lessons multiples and divisibility. I already uh, explained the multiples. Now I will explain the uh, divisibility. Divisibility mean what? Divisibility mean if I have a number like this, for example, four, uh, four times three, give me 12. We said, we said in the previous lesson, 12 is what? 12 is multiples of four, and also 12 is multiple of three. Now, I will do the vice versa, or the opposite. Now, I will ask you, is 12 divisible by three? Yes, because 12 divided by three, give me what? Give me four. Or 12 divisible by four, yes, it's give me three. So now this is the meaning of the divisibility. I will ask you, 12 divisible by three, yes. 12 divisible by four, yes. So this is the meaning of divisibility. Divisible, uh, I will see, is this number divisible by the other number or not? 12 divisible by three, yes. Why? Because give me four, here we have a result. 12 divisible by 4, yes, it's equal 3 and give me a result. Thank you for this. But now I need to erase all of these things. Here. You have to know what? Some rules of the divisibility. Actually, the same rules of multiples. Okay, to know if this number multiple of, uh, I'm sorry, divisible of 2 or not, divisible by two or not, you will look at the units. If you find in the units zero or two or four or six or eight, this means this number is divisible by two. What about three? So here, the first rule, any whole number is divisible by two if it's an even number. It must be even number. And even numbers what? Even numbers contained in the units, zero, two, four, six, and eight. Here, the second rule, any whole number is divisible by three if the sum of its digits divisible by three, we said before. Okay, if we have a large number like this, four, three, two, is this divisible by three? Here, three plus three plus uh, four equals seven, seven plus two equals nine. 9 in table 3, yes. So this number, all of this number, divisible by 3. That's it. The next rule. Here. Any whole number is divisible by 5 if its units 0 or 5. The same thing is the same rule of multiples. Again, the visibility opposite of multiples, but it, uh, in both of them we will use the same rules. So, here, if we find number like this, okay, 3, 2, 5, is this number divisible by 5? Yes. Why? Because the unit is 5. Another one. What about 410? Is this number multi uh, is this number divisible by 5? Yes. Why? Because it's in the unit we have 0. So this what? This is divisible by 5. Again, divisible by 5 must be in the unit 0 or 5. Okay, and also even numbers mean here the, the, uh, the number which is divisible by 2. It must be like this. For example, if we have number 478, is this number divisible by 2? You will look at the units. Units here we have 8. So this number is what? Divisible by 2. What about this number? 580, that's it. Here we have what? We have zero. Zero in the units mean what? Divisible by two. Because we said if you find, if you found zero or two or four or six or eight, it's mean what? Divisible by two. And here is the sum of the three 
uh, or the, the sum of digits in general must be in table three. So it's divisible by three. Here, the fourth rule, any whole number is divisible by 10 if its digits is zero. So this number divisible by 10? Yes. This number divisible by 10? Yes. This number divisible by 10? Yes. Why? Because we have zero in the units. So this number divisible by two? Yes, because we have zero in the unit. This number divisible by five? Yes, because it have zero in the units. So this is our rules. Let's see another one here. Each whole number is divide, uh, divisible by one. Of course, I can divide any number by one. So each whole number is divided by what? By one or divisible by one. Each whole number except zero divided by itself. I can divide 12 over 12. So 12 is divisible by 12. To, uh, 13 divisible by 13. 2 divisible by 2. So each whole number except zero. I can't uh, divide zero. Divided zero. No, I can't. So each whole number except zero is divisible by itself. Let's see. The last rule. Zero is the, uh, divisible by any whole number except itself. Mean what? Except zero. Let's see. Here we have some exercise. We will choose. Choose the correct answer. Okay. Let's see. For example, this. We will answer this first. Here, 42 is divisible. Why? I need to need. I need to know. 42 divisible by what? I will look at the units. In units, we have two. So this is divisible by what? Of course, divisible by two. I will ask myself, is this divisible by five? No. To be divisible by five, you have, uh, you must have in the units zero or five. So this number is divisible by two only. The next one, 32, not divisible, concentrate. Not divisible by what? We know that 32 equal what? equal three times, uh, equal four times eight, four times eight, give me what? Give me 32. So what else give me 32? Mm, if we, it's 16 actual, but it's a large number. So I can't choose eight or four. Because four times eight give me 32. I can't choose these numbers. What about two and six? Look at this number. This number divisible by two? Yes. Because here in the units, we have two. So this is divisible by two. So I can't choose two else. What about six? No. This number or this digit not divisible by six. So I will choose six. So 32 is not divisible by six, but 32 divisible by four and the eight and two. Okay, because four times eight gives me 32. And here we have in units two, so it's divisible by two. So the only one or the correct one is six. So 32 is not divisible by six. Let's see the another one. We have a large number here. 1,401 is divisible by what? I will look at the units. Units here we have one. So it's not divisible by two. It's not divisible by five. It's not divisible by 10. So it's divisible by what? By three. If you want to check your answer, add all of them together. Let's see another one. Okay. For uh, 590 is not divisible by by what? This number, not divisible. From here, from this zero, we know that 590 divisible by 10, divisible by two, divisible by five. So it's not divisible by what? Not divisible by two. That's it. Here, uh, 430 is divisible by what? 430, okay. I will look at all these. I will look first at the units. In the units we have zero. So it's a divisible by two, divisible by five, divisible by 10. So let's see, 
here that, uh, that chooses here three only no five only no two only no two and five yes so this is the correct answer here <clears throat> Another type of question, complete with divisible or not divisible? Let's see. Here, 12, divisible by five? No, why? Because to be divisible by five must be in the unit zero or five. So this not divisible. It's what? Not divisible. So I will write not divisible. The next one, 48, divisible by 6, let's see, or not, actually, 48 equal what, equal 4, uh, equal 6 times 8, 48 equal what, equal 6 times 8, so 48 is divisible by 6. Here, 72, actually, 72 equal 9 times uh, 7, uh, uh, 9 times 8, so it's what? 72 is divisible by 9. Here, 93. Divisible by 3? Actually, I don't know. This is a large number. I don't know it's, if it's uh, in table 3 or not. What I will do? I will add both of them together. 9 plus 3 equal what? Equal 12. 12 in table 3? Yes. So this number divisible by 3. Here, 120. Divisible by 10? Yes. Why? Because we have in the units 0. So this is divisible. We have a large number here. 8,764. Is divisible by 2? Yes. From where? From this 4. Here we have in the units 4. We said before, if we have 4 or 0 or 2 or 6 or 8, it's mean divisible by 2. Let's see another one. Both true or false? Here, the first one. All even numbers are divisible by 2. Actually, yes. All even numbers divisible by 2. The second one, all odd numbers divisible by 3? No, not all. For example, 37. If we write 37, 37 is what? Is odd number. Is this number divisible by 3? No. How come? You know from where? 3 plus 7 equal what? 10. 10 not in table 3. So this number not in table 3. So not all of odd numbers divisible by 3. Here, 42 is divisible by 6 and non divisible by 7. Actually, 42 equal 6 times 7. So 42 divisible by 6 and divisible by 7. So this sentence is wrong. Let's see another one. Sorry. Here. What about 88? 88 equal what? 88 equal 11 times 8 so it's divisible by what by 11 and 8 so 88 is divisible by plus 8 and 11 so it's correct let's see the next one 636 is divisible by plus 2 and 3 let's see here in units we have 6 so it's divisible by 2 let's see let's add them together 6 plus 3 equal what 9 9 plus 6 equal 15 15 in table 3? Yes. So this number divisible by 3 too. So this sentence is what is correct. That's it. That's our lesson for today. So in divisibility, we will use the same rules of what? It's the opposite of multiples, but we will use the same rules of multiples. That's it. You need to practice more. That's it. Thank you. And if you want to ask about something, please write it in a comment. Okay, goodbye.